Welcome to FinChute. On today's lesson we're going to do something a little bit different and show you one of the features that not too many people know about when it comes to Bloomberg and that feature is BMAP or Bloomberg Map. So to get to the BMAP just type BMAP in the navigation bar followed by enter or go and that'll bring up this world map here. From this point you've got a lot of different options that you can look for. You can find energy assets right across the globe or you can do things like search for particular storms and find out the damage of those particular storms and what they've caused. So we're going to have a look at that today. To do that you'll always open up BMAP and look on your right hand side here. It will show you the active storms that are current at any point of time. You can find that storm by clicking on it and it will zoom in for this storm. So as you can see here, we've zoomed straight in and it's showing us the 3D cone of uncertainty. Uh, we can have a look at tracking that storm as well, but what I'm gonna do is look at where it's been historically. So we can see that and track that. And at any point of time along here, you can click on the storm and it'll tell you the speeds of which it was traveling. And as you can see here as well, you can see latest forecast notes on that particular storm. This storm here won't obviously cause too much economic damage. Uh, we can have a look up at data of the current storm here. It is looking to estimate total losses of um, 0.15 million, but have a look at the insured amount, that's much, much less. So if we take a more serious storm, for an example, like um, Hurricane Sandy, uh, we'll have a look at that and see just where it was and track that through economic loss as well. So what I'm going to do now is come up the top here and unclick Erin. I'm going to browse and I'm going to try to find Sandy, which this is the one we're finding here. You can also sort these alphabetical in here as well. And now I'm going to update that and this will update the storm on our map. So here it comes straight across and we all know the damage that it caused up in New York with mass floodings. But what was the actual value of those damages? We can find that by coming up to data again and having a look. So it's going to sort it by estimated um, or final losses and also estimated what they thought it was going to be in the past. So what, we, what we're looking at is what were the actual final storm losses. So it's going to sort it by country here. Uh, so if we scroll down, keep scrolling down until we find the United States, we can see here that New York had total damages of 3.9 billion with only 2.1 billion of that being insured. So this is very good if you're looking at say oil assets and you're going to be looking at storms that come through the Gulf here, you can actually have a look at those estimates and build those into the models that you're working on at the time. So this just gives you one bit of a look at how you can use storms. Um, I'm going to come off storms now and I want to show you just some of the different things that you can do. You can track a whole lot of vessels and different ports so you can be looking at what oil tankers are going around the world, what container ships are going around the world and you can track that by ports as well. But just to show you something that's probably a little bit more random, we can go into vessels as well and it'll even track cruise liners. So we can come in here now and enter something like where is the Queen Mary or Queen Mary 2. I can update that and now search. And we can find that the Queen Mary 2 will actually be in the port of New York. So now if I click on the vessel, we can say view the history on the map to see where the vessel has been recently. And this applies also to oil tankers and container ships. And we're going to look at the last 14 days. So now if I search, you'll see exactly where the Queen Mary has been over that period of time. So I just wanted to give you a bit of a demonstration on BMAP so you're a bit more clear on, on some of the things that you can use. We can also look at earthquakes as well and you can also sort those by filtering them for the only the earthquakes that caused economic losses as well. So if we did that over the last 30 days, hopefully we can get some in this example. And you can see there's been one in Asia here. 
And that concludes today's tutorial. So next time we'll come into BMAT, we'll have a look at specifically analyzing uh, different companies and where their energy assets are as well. And we'll also look at how you can enter in your own inputs as well to track um, anything that you're after in terms of geographic locations. Thank you for listening. This has been another video from Finchute. If you like these, please visit us at finchute.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe at YouTube.